A white, recently widowed book editor has an affair with a younger black writer. Soon thereafter, dark secrets are revealed. That's the setup for Reparations, a provocative original play drawing rave reviews and now playing as part of the Billy Holiday Theater's New Windows Festival. The production, directed by Tony Award-nominated Michelle Shea, explores the dynamic of race and class and gender in today's America, prompting audiences to question assumptions about the price of racial injustice. And joining us now to talk about the play is one of the stars of Reparations, Kamal Bolden. Kamal, it's nice to have you here with us. It's nice to be here. Thank you. So let's start with the title and then what the play is about. Because if you know nothing about it, you hear the title, and your first thought is, okay, financial restitution, descendants of slaves. It's about so much more. So my question to you is, how did you briefly describe it to, to friends and relatives when you decided to do this? Oh, I, I say something similar to that. I okay. say, come in with an expectation, as we all will, about reparations, about, like you said, financial restitution, making amends, but just expect that halfway through the first act, it's going to be turned on its head, and every expectation you had is it's going to be flipped. And um, I never try to give away that because oh man, that would just that would that would hurt so much for them. But there's a there's a lot of great twists that make it like you said about class, about race, about gender, um, LGBTQ. There's a lot of different things that are in here that are hit not on the head too much, but just perfectly placed to make you think about right. the things that are happening in our country right now and the conversations that we're not having. What has the reaction been that you're seeing for the audiences after this play is performed? First of all, I love the Billy Holiday Theater, the historic yeah. Billy Holiday Theater. We did a story yes. on it here, as a matter of mm -hmm. fact, for the renovations they did in 2017 and, and so much wonderful historical work with historical mm -hmm. actors there. Yes, exactly. And the, the audience every night is different, but it has a certain personality in which like live theater, we get that instant feedback during the show. I don't even have to wait until intermission to kind of listen to the voices. They're happening right there during the show. And this is the type of show where you can laugh, you can talk back, you can cry or, or you know, whatever you're provoked to do. This is the type of show that happens. So uh, every night we're finding that um, some of the themes that are hitting people very hard, but more than anything, after I walk out, as, as well as my other castmates, and we walk out after the show and we meet the audience, we're finding that people are being healed, mm -hmm. which, is, which is something that we were looking you, forward to. Why do you think that is? Well, trauma that many people experience um, in so many different aspects, whether it's through um, physical abuse, whether it's through sexual abuse, whether it's through racial inequality and disenfranchisement, this trauma, this PTSD that many of us experience here in this country and across the world, a lot of times we don't have a lot of outlets for it. And we don't see it presented on stage in a way in which you see someone that reflects your own experience and how they're dealing with forgiveness and how they're dealing with that trauma. And so my character, Reg, this young novelist who's uh, trying to get this book published, who believes in this character that is created and the justice that he wants for black people in America, he's dealing with, he's struggling and battling with a lot of those, those particular things when it comes to trauma and forgiveness. And when I talk to people afterwards, they're holding their, their chest and they're, they're holding their hearts and they're saying, thank you. They're saying, thank you so much for presenting this. Thank you for the playwright. My story was reflected on that stage, and I feel like I can go forward and help and heal from this. Let me ask you about your background, because I, I, I think it's fascinating. So come out of college, you're majoring in business administration, entrepreneurship, and you're out there in the corporate business world. And you undoubtedly would have been a great success there. And then you decide to change your life. And you said, you know what? I want to walk away from that, mm -hmm. because I want to do this. What did your friends and your family say to you when you said, hey, guys, guess what I'm going to do next? Well, you know what? I'm, I've been lucky to have some very supportive family members and, and, uh, and a lot of great friends that support it. But I will say this. It's, when, you, when you turn on a, on a dime like that, you choose love over fear. Because I, I feel like everything is rooted in those two. They're derivatives of those two emotions, you know, love and fear. And sometimes you fear if I get out of this particular career, then I won't have the financial stability or I won't find success. And those are just all the fears. And I chose love at that time. I said, I've been working in corporate America 13, 14 hours a day, and I still find time to do community theater for free 
four or five hours in the night. That's pretty good. That's stuff. what I love to do. Yeah. And I think when I explain that to my family and my friends, they can see it in my eyes. They can see my eyes light up. They can see something different come out of me the way I talked about theater that they did not see when I was talking about my corporate job. And so they were like, you got to go be happy. And I haven't looked back since. Well, the good news is you've had great success. But I've always thought that, that, that one of the great disappointments in life would be as you get to sort of the back end to say to yourself, you know what, why didn't I try that? Yeah. You know, it's what I would have loved to have done. Why didn't he mm -hmm. at least take a shot? at it but you're, you're a great story that says okay do it and if you're good at it you can get very successful and you'll you find out soon yeah, yeah you will let me ask you one one last big picture question about the play because in in looking at sort of the you know the the, the mission statement the description about this production mm -hmm. and also what they're doing at, at the billy um, one of the lines that that i caught my interest was the notion that in terms of this storytelling the quote was the african-american story is the very foundation of the American story. What do you think that means? Honestly, I think that quotation is, um, it's far reaching and it's, it's, it's profound because it can mean anything to anyone. But to me, I think what it's saying is that the circumstances that surrounded the African diaspora Africans being enslaved and being brought to America at that particular time and obviously the 1600s and the transatlantic slave trade and building up industry from then the country truly began hmm. with slavery I mean we can yes, look at it financially so, we're talking so interwoven you can't yes you can't, you can't separate, separate the two can't separate. you can't separate the industries from the cotton and the textiles and the tobacco and and the banks and all of the industry that came in and the industrialization that and we're learning more and that. more about that now colleges yes. and universities yes built Thank quite you. literally not just figuratively on the backs on the backs of slaves yes well it's a, a play that as you and I said before makes you think and makes you want to talk and that's the greatest virtue, I think, of any kind of art that mm -hmm. we can provide. So it's, it's a great performance. And I, I'm sure you would have been a success in the corporate business world, but I think the folks in the theater world and the film world and the television world are delighted that you made that shift. Thank you. I've come out. It's a pleasure. Thanks so much, and good luck to you. Appreciate it. And a reminder for you folks out there, Reparations is playing at the Billy Holiday Theater through November 24th. For some more information, make sure you visit us at metrofocus.org.